Hey guys, Kelly here. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, welcome to weekend workbench update. As you can see, the 59 Cadillac is not finished. Uh, we have been working diligently uh, trying to get the bare metal foil done. It's just that there is a lot of it. Uh, and I'm going to give you all a public service announcement here. I want to identify all the areas on this Cadillac that when you're bare metaling it are going to be a royal pain in the tuchus. <clears throat> so, I usually refer to that as a pita, which is a pain in the, you know what. So, pita, 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 you, you get the idea. I mean, there's just a lot of thin, thin bare metal foil down in here. Uh, the fin has got foil. It's just a lot of bare metal foil. Now, this section here is, uh, I was assuming since the, uh, just the top section of the car was going to be gray, that this would be blue. And I was wrong. This should have been gray. And there should be a piece of chrome right here. There are so many trim levels on these cars. Uh, and it's unreal because finding... 59 Cadillac amulets that matches exactly because some of them have the roof that comes along through here and this swoops this way down kind of toward the front uh, there's high roof versions uh, there's this loop roof version uh, like I said just some of them some of them have just the chrome running along the top and along the bottom and these are whatever the roof color is, which there again, I would be wrong. This piece would have been chrome. This would have been gray. This would have been gray in the center. You know, it's just a whole mix of different things. So, uh, I couldn't wait. I went ahead and did the, uh, Tamiya panel liner in here. Cause I wanted to see how that would look. Cause I thought that looked pretty, you know, that looks pretty cool. And I've never used panel liner on door jams, but I let it run down the hood line, so I kind of like that. I've got this side to do after I finish up these two pieces here. And I'm going to do, well, three. I've got to do the door seal and then these two pieces and the door handles. Uh, <clears throat> i got to do the front emblem. And as you can see here, uh, I think of the color hid that from me until I got clear on there. I've got to rub through. It's not factory chrome, but it might be. Who knows? I don't just, yeah, I'm having a lot of trouble with rub through that I don't notice to the last minute. Uh, and like I said, then finish up this side. The Christmas decoration is going to start very soon, and I have been working on getting my model room cleaned up. Uh, but I think my wife's giving me a little bit of reprieve because I told her, I said, I'd just like to get this one finished before I'm done. Uh, I'm cleaning around my desk right now, so <clears throat> there's that. But that's pretty much the extent of my progress this weekend. She's not been feeling well, and I've apparently got whatever she got. Oh, there is this progress. I did like the grill. Uh, so neither one of us has been feeling great today. We've been trying to work a little bit and rest a little bit and work a little bit and rest a little bit but it's just when your eyes are watering it's hard to concentrate on this stuff anywho guys this is what i got for you for this and uh be watching for a thursday morning model cars i've got a couple of interesting pieces coming up uh one of them i did not do well you know there might be a couple of them i did not build but one of them for sure I did not build. Uh, I'm doing some oddball stuff this weekend trying to, you know, it's not going to be a series of one style of car like I've been doing. This will just be a hodgepodge of stuff. Uh, <clears throat> but it'll be focused on pickup trucks or trucks. Let's put it that way. Because one of them's not a pickup truck. It's just a, it, well, you'll see. So just hang on for that for Thursday. 
You guys have a great week. God bless you.